Hey, hi, this is Animesh once again. Uh, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Secure Plus so that we can transfer files using Connect Direct from one server to other in a secure way. Okay, so we have two servers as you have seen in my previous videos, uh, Ansible 1 and Control. And I have shown you how to transfer files from one server to other without security without a secure plus now as you can see uh, we have uh, inside cd unix we have connect direct configured and there is no secure plus when secure plus is configured you will see a secure plus directory over here so that's not there and it, it's not configured in any one of them so before we go ahead and start the secure plus installation i want to show you that uh, the transfer works from ansible one to control server and then i'm going to show you how to configure the secure plus in the control server and then i'm going to show you that if i try to transfer file again after secure plus configuration from ansible one to control server it fails because the security has to be configured on both ends okay all right, so let's go ahead. Uh, let me disable this display. I, let me go to the logs here. Okay, so these are the logs. Let me tail the logs so that you can see the logs when the transfer happens from Ansible 1. Okay. All right, here I'm going to go to NDM bin and I'm going to go to the direct prompt so that I can transfer file. I'll copy the transfer process here, the commands. So you can see submit process name, process S node. S node is the secondary node, which is our target node, which is control. So that's it. This is source file, destination file. Let me transfer. Yep, so you can see the logs here and you can see that destination file is temp destination and destination file, source file, submitter id is cd user and you can see a connect direct process has completed successfully so we can see that the destination file the source file has been copied to the target server as destination okay so i'll i'm going to show you using select statistics which is a very popular way and a very good way to see the stats of a particular process select stat pnum equals okay it's typing here also let me disable that okay 30 details wow so you can see it shows clearly it has completed successfully okay all right now it works from ansible one to control server now let me disable that ansible one prompt and let me come here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to install secure plus in the control server and i'm going to do the same transfer so ideally it should fail okay all right let's go back to our installer in order to install connect direct we have to go to the installer and run it again I'm going to go a little faster here. Enter full path of the connect direct. Yep, it's not changing. Do you want to continue? Yeah, yes, I want to. To continue to restore. No, I'm not going to restore. So I'm going to say no because I'm going to do a addition of secure plus for full installation process yeah now i get the prompt for the full installation process so you see that we have already installed a connect direct for unix server and client now we are going to install the 
secure plus that's option five so let's select option five so here we have to provide the path of a connect direct installer we provided that do you want to continue yes i want to continue it's taking the disk space It will take a few seconds to check, to do the pre-checks. Again, yes, you have selected this directory. Yes, I want it there. Now it's doing the installation extraction. It, it has to configure GRE also because GRE is needed for... Sorry for the background noise. Okay, please enter the name of the Connect Direct node you want to customize. Yes, it's control node. new key store now it's going to it, it it's going to create a cms key store which is a kdb file for the secure plus so it's asking for a new uh, keys it's trying to create a new key store i have to give a password for that i have entered the password it says okay All right, secure plus installation succeeded. Wow, that's great. Would you like to return to the installation menu? Let's go back. Okay, basically I don't need to do anything else. Secure plus installation is done. Okay, all right, let's see. Okay, as I mentioned before, right, uh, that JRE is needed for the key store creation and also jre has been installed and if we go to the ndm we can see a directory secure plus this indicates that secure plus has been installed now one thing secure plus is installed that doesn't mean that secure plus is configured now it's just installed <clears throat> so let's see let's try to transfer a file again I'll show you in detail. Probably you will not get these, these kind of details uh, in any video. I'll show you in detail so that you can clarify your concepts very well. So I have transferred the file once again. Now let me select stat process number 31 details. Okay, you can see a connect direct process completed successfully. So it shows that it still can send the file to the target server which is the control server but once it's configured it won't be able to send so let's go back to our control server and see how we can configure so for configuration there are very simple steps we have a new script that is created it's spcast underscore sample one so if i look at it right there are a few things here so instead of this right you can see that it is just a sample file it's not going to work but we have to just replace few of the parameters with the actual values so let me copy one file from my temp which I have created for this demo. So spcast.sh, I'm going to give the link for this particular sample file so that you can reuse that by changing it according to your values. So let's see what's inside. So what we're going to do is it's initiating the secure plus command line interface it's invoking the cli these are all standard steps and here is the thing right so ndm path this is the netmap path so basically what we do is we do a few steps you know we first do the sync netmap sync netmap is so previously i have shown you that in order to send file from the source to the destination the destination server has to add the source servers and the source user details that is the remote user and the remote node in its user config and the netmap config file 
Now, that's not enough for Secure Plus. For Secure Plus, we have to do that same thing for the Secure Plus as well. What it does is it checks the NetMap configuration file and syncs that with the Secure Plus. So what it says is all these are now secured, okay? All right, the next one is the key certificate. As you know, that for any security configuration, you need a key store, a certificate, and a key, right? So these are the path that I have pre-configured. I'll show you that in a while. This is the password that I gave when I was installing the Connect Direct Secure Plus. This is the level. I'm importing the key certificate. Trust certificate also I'm importing. So what is done basically here, here I am configuring the CMS key store with the key and the key and the certificate that is a key cert and along with that I am configuring the trusted certificate. So what is trusted certificate? It's basically the certificate that we are trusting. So in if if uh, uh, the source server is suppose this Ansible one right Ansible one is sending a file to here. So it has to send the file and it has to communicate with the certificate and that certificate should be trusted by control server so that's nothing but the trusted certificate so first what we did is we sync the netmap file along with the secure plus second we are configuring the certificate third what we are doing is we are updating the local node this is the most important step actually all the steps are important but this is a uh, little hard to understand I'll explain you for uh, very clearly so this is the local node configuration where I'm saying that hey look I am saying that the local node can be communicated some other server can communicate to this server that is the control server using only TLS 1.2 protocol override is no what that means is if the other server which is ansible one in our case if it tries to override the secure plus configuration to make a non-secure connection i'm saying that no you cannot do that you cannot override i'm saying that you will have to come with tls 1.2 you cannot override that authentication or authorization time so these are the timeout settings key cert level i have configured here all these are okay i'm encrypting data yes client auth i'm saying no i don't want client auth cipher suits i'm not selecting specific cipher suits but you can do that if you have that if you have that requirement but in this case i'm just saying that yeah all cipher suits so the ansible one server can come to control server with any surface cipher suits sea enable this is an advanced concept i'm not enabling that for now yep and that's it but before running this file what i have to do is i have to configure this key and certificate so let's do that now where i can do that i can find those settings inside ndm cfg oh sorry it's not here Basically, it's inside Secure Plus. Yep, so this is the whole new directory that is created after we install Secure Plus. So here I have the certificates. Inside the certificates, you have a KDB which is created initially when I install Secure Plus, but it has no contents at all. I have to create the contents. So for that, I have a key file and a cert file. I'll just give you these key and the cert files for your convenience so that you can refer. So nothing, it's it's nothing but a PEM file key cert is a PEM file which consists of a private key and the certificate. And the certificate, basically I'm using a self-signed certificate. It contains the same certificate file. Okay. All right, now our job is simple. We just have to run that script okay so let's run it okay so before we run uh, let me see if connect director is running okay it's running let me stop it okay all right i stopped it now i will run the 
configuration secure plus configuration so initially what it's doing sync net map it's syncing the net map second what it did it configured all the certificates in the kdb third what it did is it configured the local node to say that hey no one can come to me without a tls protocol and it cannot be overridden that's it and you can see zero errors so a few warnings are fine so now it's configured let me start it i'll get the command from my history to start it's i don't want to type it all right let me see if it started wow it started and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to send from this server to this server okay again the same file okay i'm using the same command same set of commands that i used previously to send the file from my ansible server to my control server okay all right let's see what's up process submitted let's see the details okay yep here are the details so you can see clearly what really happened let's see tcq uh, Q change from wait to execute state. It's trying to execute. Now it clearly says secure plus session attempted with non secure plus node. So this node, Ansible one, secure plus is non -conf not configured. So it's trying to attempt a connection to a secure plus node. So session not started. And the reason is session ended yeah so the reason is this secure plus session attempted with non secure plus node yeah this is what i wanted to show you uh, thanks once again for watching in my next video i'll show you how to configure in the other node and uh, transfer a file from ansible one to control node when both are secure plus enabled thanks once again for watching we'll see you again in my next video thank you so much bye